back in the driveway. I am here with two Honda SUVs to give you a black and a white comparison of two different sizes of SUVs. You know about the 2015 Honda CRV. This is a compact SUV in an incredibly crowded segment. It's number one in the segment, but where did they go from there? They bring out the 2016 Honda HRV, a subcompact, all new. It's based on the Honda Fit, just so you have an idea of the platform we're talking about here. This is not such a crowded market yet, but there is competition already heating up in the market now, in the dealership now, and coming in the showroom in the fall. You have the Mazda CX-3, you have the Subaru XV Crosstrek, you have the Chevy Trax, and there will be more. So which size of SUV is right for your lifestyle? Well, using these Hondas, I'm gonna give you some information that will help you make an informed decision. Because by the time you get to the showroom this fall, there will be a lot of shopping for you to do. We've come around the back to make a very important comparison. And that is, what size do you really need? So if you're a family, you're probably gonna want the CRV. It's taller, it's wider, it has a lot more cargo space. It's nine inches longer than the HRV. But if you're an empty nester or an entry level buyer, you're gonna wanna consider the HRV. It doesn't have as much cargo capacity, but it has the same wheelbase as the CRV, and that's the space where the people are sitting, which is probably what you're gonna be more interested in. Manufacturers are discovering that customers are choosing compact SUVs over cars in the same basic size because they're about the same price, but SUVs are more flexible, they're more comfortable, and they're more useful. I wanna talk about the price difference between the CRV and the HRV, but first I wanna say that you can load this HRV up to the point where it completely outstrips the base price of a CRV. So you wanna think about that. It's kinda of like penny slots. You know, you think you're playing pennies, but they figure out a way to get a lot of pennies in there every time you pull the arm. The base car is two-wheel drive and it comes with a six-speed manual transmission. You can option in the CVT, which is a little more fuel efficient. All HRVs have the same engine, which they share with the Honda Civic. It's a 1.8 liter, 141 horsepower, four-cylinder engine, and uh, it feels pretty good. I drove this car to Detroit to a car show, and not only did the engine feel just perfectly fine, the CVT transmission, which is in this car, was seamless, it worked like a charm. But I will tell you, not only is it really hot here today, I'm gonna have a little drink here. It was 90 this weekend and all I really cared about was how the AC worked. So I just gotta go now, it's just too hot. 